Here I am for a city hall. I see somebody doing an interview. And your name is? Mike O'Brien, city councilor. And uh, you just had an interview with uh, Rogers. Yes, I did. That, now, that was the easy part. This is the hard part here. Uh, what were you talking about there? We were talking about the uh, the issue that's in front of council employees right now about the pension deficit for employees. What's the issue? The issue is that the market uh, went in the tank a few years ago, and our pension fund right now is underfunded by about $39 million. Now, you told Rogers, which I had to bite my tongue and my tongue still hurts, you plan, if the province has to get involved, and you plan to meet with the new PCs, MLAs, about this issue. We would like to meet with them, but you know. And I'm sure you will. Yeah, well, we will we'll do our absolute best, yes. Yeah, but I don't get it. It made me really upset. How can the, the provincial government dare to even change the index of the pension when they voted themselves a seven dollar seven million dollar raise in their pension. Well this is nothing to do with indexing. This is to do with the pension act that says that when the, when the when the pension funds are in deficit mm -hmm. the cities must file a, a plan with the province that mm -hmm. shows how you can make it flush within okay. fifteen years. But and you need the okay from the provincial we government. Need the okay from the provincial government. And we're so asking say for twenty five years instead of fifteen. Yep. And that makes the payments smaller every year and, and it lets the market rebound as well because if the market comes back in the next five or six or seven years if it comes back seven or eight percent a year we might be all right in six or seven years but you know what I'm saying there now they voted themselves a six million dollar raise in their pension uh, their crooked pension the MLAs and you does every city around this province has to ask the provincial government to do changes in in the act in the pension act that's the way the legislation is. Oh my God! I, I mean, how? I can't speak to uh, to MLAs or, or a cabinet ministers' pension. That's their issue. I have to deal from the city's perspective with the pension act. Yes. And it's black and white, and cabinet can change it. So we had a protest here last week. Yes. I told you this be different than, yeah, than Rogers. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but I mean, it's it's true. Sure. So that means there, there was a protest here last week. On uh, Tuesday night. Tuesday night, yep. there was, I guess this place here was surrounded I here. I heard that there was 220 of the employees. 220. How many employees is there altogether? About 750. So oh. about a third, of, you know, a third or 25% of the employees. So that means these people, these workers, will have to lobby the government not to make any changes. Well, the government, there's already something in place that says, here's how you do it. We're saying that if we follow that, it, it's, it's quite onerous on everybody. The taxpayers who have to pay 50% of any increase, and the employees who have to pay 50%. Employees have said to council quite clearly, they want to pay the, the extra money yes. instead of losing part of their That's pay. That's what they said. Understand that completely. It's a, if I was in their situation, I would, I would do the same. Yep. That's, a number, that's, that's understandable. Yep. But what we're saying is that it, it, if, we, if we do the increased pension contributions, it's <laughs> very expensive, even for the employees. I don't think they might realize how much it'll take out of their own paycheck. It's also 